We are following a developing story in Hawaii. 12 military personnel are feared dead hours after two marine helicopters collided midair off the coast of Oahu. The Coast Guard is helping in the search off the north shore of the island. A high surf warning is in effect challenging the rescue and recovery efforts. Marine officials say the two helicopters were conducting routine night training. Grace Lee joins us off the North Shore now with the very latest on this story. Grace, what can you tell us? Well, officially, we believe that those 12 Marines are still missing. This is a search and rescue effort that is ongoing as we speak from the North Shore. Now, I wanted to show you the weather conditions because this has really been a huge factor for the <coughs> rescuers out here. Obviously, visibility is an issue from the air and from the boat. The rain has moved in, so it's hard to see, especially in those early morning hours when it was still dark, but even with these bands of clouds that are coming in. Also, this area is famous for a surf. We are expecting a huge swell today, one of the biggest in years. The National Weather Service expects waves to get up to 40 feet, which is a huge challenge, not only for rescuers, but possibly for any survivors. Now, we have confirmed with Marine Corps officials that those 12 Marines who are missing, they started out around 1030 in a routine training exercise on board two Super Stallion helicopters. Now, these are large scale cargo helicopters, some of the biggest that the U.S. military uses. They can carry up to 55 people or as much as 30,000 pounds in cargo, so they're very large. We have heard from multiple residents in this area, and they tell us that they are familiar with hearing the sounds of these training exercises going on, but they knew last night that something was wrong. They heard two separate loud explosions, and this is what really kickstarted the whole investigation and the search and rescue efforts as well. And just to give you some perspective of what's going on, the Coast Guard officials that we spoke to, they have worked here their entire lives. They know this ocean very well, and they acknowledge that every search and rescue effort is unique and different. But they say because of the weather conditions today and because of the surf and the visibility that they are seeing, they said that this particular search and rescue effort is quote unquote daunting. Glad, Carolyn, back to you. Grace, let me ask you, uh, the uh, Coast Guard and some officials are saying that they did spot a debris field some two miles offshore. Uh, are they thinking that perhaps this could be related to this, uh, to this military accident? Most definitely, Vlad, they do think that that is related, and that is where their search efforts are really focused on. And it's just a couple of miles really offshore from here. Initially, it was just a half mile offshore from Haleiwa, and it kind of continues north of here. If you're familiar with this area, it goes all the way up towards a Turtle Bay area. Now, the challenge with this debris field and with seeing these large scale waves is that it tends to scatter. So every hour that goes by becomes more and more difficult for them to make to track the debris and possibly track any survivors. And Coast Guard officials say they're using every tool that is available to them, including computer generated models to try to use all these different factors with the weather and the current and the wind and the waves to try to figure out exactly where that debris field is. And that's where they're concentrating their efforts as we speak. We can even hear multiple aircraft going up right now. All right, Grace Lee reporting for us there in Hawaii. Grace, thank you so much.